Hey there everybody and how you doing? This is Thrice with North American Sustainable Farms. We have Adonis here. Can you wave Adonis? I don't know how close you are to the camera. Say hi. <laughs> so he's going to be helping me with getting this uh, mushroom log out of the box and set up. This is actually an older mushroom log. This is just going to be an example. We actually had a request from a gentleman uh, for a sister named Zoe. So hi Zoe, happy birthday. This video is actually um, for you and it's going to be for anybody who wants to get into mushroom farming. This is also for anybody who wants to buy the mushroom logs off of our retail shop on nasf.live. So what we want to do is we're just going to show an example of what you're going to do when you receive your mushrooms. So when you receive your mushrooms, it's going to come in a general box about the size. It will be a different design on the outside. It's going to come with the mushroom log in a bag and it will most likely come with the actual uh, tent. This is a humidity tent bag either over it, so it'll be like inside, or it's just going to be like folded up next to it. But it's all going to be in the box. So I'm not going to remove this bag off of this mushroom log, because this is an old log. And uh, I've dried it out and I'm keeping it safe from bugs and stuff. So, but what you're going to do is the bag that it comes in, you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut a little hole in the top. And this is after the mycelium is going to be completely white. So if you receive your log and it's colored like this, or it's not completely white all over, then that means that it's not ready to fruit. You want to store it and let it fully develop in the bag that it's in. So when you first receive it, if it's not fully white, you want to make sure not to cut it. But if it's fully white and ready to go, you can go ahead and cut that. And we're going to have links in the descriptions for the logs so you can see some um, examples, like picture examples of this. So what you do is once you cut a hole in the top of the bag of the mushroom log, which is what this is called, um, then it has air to start allowing the mushrooms to fruit. You're going to take your humidity tent, and this is where you can either put it in the box that it came in like this, you can have it out of the box in the plastic bag that it's in, um, and, and then go ahead and place it in the humidity tent. So you can go ahead and if you put it back in the box after cutting the hole, you can just put the humidity tent over like this. What that does is if you don't really have a dark space, this helps protect the mycelium from light on the, the... Come here, please. What this does is this helps protect the mycelium from light around this area, but the top part will get light, which allows mushrooms to fruit. Because um, certain species actually do prefer light when they're going to fruit. Uh, if you don't use the box, you can go ahead, and if you have a dark place to do this, like in a bathroom that usually doesn't have light on all the time, you can have it just in its bag with the hole in it, and you can go ahead and lay it like this with the hole facing the closed end of your humidity tent. And then you can close this up with a paper clip or some other you know, clothespin bin, something, and it will keep it sealed. And you just want to make sure to keep this moist every day. So that's how you can go ahead and get your humidity tent going on your mushroom log. It's really kind of up to you and your imagination. And the biggest thing is you just want to make sure this humidity tent is serving the purpose of keeping the log moist. All right? So we'll go ahead. Do you want to try to put the bag on top? Here. You want to put the bag on top of the box? While he's doing that, that's going to be all, y'all. Thank you for joining me. We'll have some more mu fun mushroom videos. Me and maybe Adonis will join in, too, in the future as well. And uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And remember to hit the thumbs up button and follow for more farm videos like this. Have a wonderful day. And Ms. Zoe, happy birthday again.